Hey, I'll wait for you right here, Brenda. Fish over here, yeah. Yeah. Number one rule, fish. Brian, is not to tell them where the real fish are at. <laughs> I let, I told them over here. They're not over there. So the air tanks just ran out of air, but we ended up seeing some cool stuff underwater. We saw those huge fish. If you guys didn't know, those are like trophy sized bass. And then we also came across some pretty cool treasure. We're gonna do a little recap here in a second, but man, that was a ton of fun. The sun's starting to go down. It got really dark on us. I wanna start off with my favorite item of the day. And it definitely has to be this, uh, this little knife here. It's this outdoor angler uh, right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but maybe it looks like a fillet knife of some sort. Maybe a cat fisherman lost it when they, uh, they were filleting a catfish or something. But you never know what happened with that knife. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, every time we find a knife, we're always like potential murder weapon. This is actually my second favorite find of the day. Whoa. And it's actually really cool. Check out this glass bottle here. It looks like it has spider webs oh, all over it, cool. but isn't that cool? I think I'm actually gonna save this and clean it up and then maybe we'll uh, put something in it, you know? I don't really know, maybe some sand from the river or something, but I think that's really cool. I did actually come across some jewelry and you know what? I might have to give this to Brandon, you know? Yeah, um, I you, found you uh, punched me in the head on accident when dude, you found it. I that. almost knifed you. I know. I, I was sitting there cutting and Your I'm like, knife was... <laughs> <laughs> my whole thing was starting to fill back up, so I was trying to swim and next thing I know I had my knife in my hand, Brandon's right over here, almost like cut his face. <laughs> that would have been terrible, but you know what, Brennan? I'm gonna make it up to you. I got some jewelry for you. You know, I found some the other day, but I know you need some too. You are the greatest friend ever. You're welcome. Thank you so much, brother. Yeah. 
Thanks for knifing me. <laughs> I did come across a handful of fishing lures, but not too many today. We saw a couple of these uh, bigger swim baits here, but look at these things, man. These are huge. Oh these my gross. God. Look at the this. The mega fluke dong, dude. <laughs> this is a fluke right here, and this is what happens when the fluke stays in the water for a very long time. It sponges up and grows. I'm telling you, the whole day, Brandon, I was floating like nonstop. Something's wrong with my scuba stuff. Look at it. It's blowing up by itself. That was going on. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> There's moments I was like 20 feet down. I'm like, Brandon, I'm like, I'm stuck to float back up. I'm like, what the heck? I pulled you down at one point. Remember, I grabbed you by your belt. And That's you down. why, man. It's just automatically filling up on me. I know what I'm doing. When I know what I'm doing. Diving still. <laughs> I learned that in period two at Navy school before I dropped out. <laughs> I even put rocks where I, I was supposed to put extra weights. <laughs> did you learn that in dive school? I did. I got more over here too. <laughs> <laughs> I got some more up here too. I can't get them, Brandon. You help me. Take in. I'll help you. Look, get one. <laughs> you got, oh, there's another one in here. Oh, well, there's your problem. You got rocks in your freaking BCD, brother. Yeah, they taught us back in Navy SEAL school. You use whatever you got to. Yep. All oh, them rocks so, right there. Put all those rocks in my scuba suit, and I still kept floating up. Didn't work. <laughs> We're gonna need more rocks. We're gonna need definitely way more rocks. <laughs> Boulder. Wait, well, hey, drop a thumbs up if you guys want to see another scuba diving video here in my hometown on the Chattahoochee River. And maybe uh, we'll come back out here tomorrow. Oh, by the way, what? Remember, all this stuff we found today. Oh yeah. We're getting it. Yeah, I also said if we can hit 50,000 likes on this video, everything we found in today's video will be given out to you guys. You know, we did come across a handful of nice things, and I'm really excited to be able to like mail this out to you guys. So. If you want to enter the giveaway, make sure you guys just leave a comment too. Let me know you guys did everything. And uh, we'll be picking a few people. I'll DM you and we'll get your address and send some of this cool stuff out. Ooh, Chase is going to slide to your DMs. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, ah, oh, dang it, man, Brandon. What? I really like that whiskey jar. And I have to give it away. But yeah, we had the cool whiskey jar. It's like spider web. We had the knife. He has a really nice uh, fishing lure. If you want to check out everything Brandon found, I'm going to put a link to his YouTube video that he made today in the description below. Make sure you guys head over. Tell him uh, the Almighty sent you. But he did find some cool things. Or if you just want to see the footage of me grabbing Jake and pulling him back down every time he floated away, <laughs> come on over my way because I'm just grabbing Jake all video long. Oh, gosh. Come back, Jacobson. If you guys want to check out the goggles we use in our videos, they're called Octomask. I'm going to put a link in the description below. But these are our go to goggles. It allows us to record hands-free and we've been using this since we ever started like river diving don't worry we're certified <laughs> <laughs> these scuba setups are so heavy <laughs> uh, you ready to go let's go home. let's go home. <laughs> 